Hi guys, Toyin here from Puddin. Let me tell you, I've been hiring people in my business for the past 10 years, and here's what I expect. Guys, one of the most basic expectations is for a new hire to actually show up on time and be ready to work. Now, this might be so obvious to most of us, you know, but I can't tell you how many times I've seen people show up on their first day to work late, completely late, with an excuse that nobody really cares about, you know, traffic, regular excuses. If you are serious about a position, you have to show up on time. And what is on time really? On time is early because you have to be ready and prepared for anything that might happen. Of course, there's going to be traffic. Of course, the day that you first start a position, everything is gonna go to hell. But you have to prepare yourself for all these things. So expectation number one that I think is incredibly basic that we all can understand is to show up on time and be ready to work. Another expectation, guys, that I have that I really think is a very reasonable expectation is to be able to commit to the schedule that you've said that you were available to work. So it's so funny how many people, you know, get in, they're very excited, and they're like, I can work every single day, I'm available every day. And I'm like, okay, I'll put you on the schedule. I generally don't put people on the schedule every day because I, I realize that people tend to have very loftier grand ideas about their ability to work you know, seven days a week, but you know, we temper it down and we give them a solid five days a week. And you'd be, you'd be surprised how many people just start changing their schedule after two days, three days, this happened, that happened. Everything seems to happen when you start a job, <laughs> or at least at, in the pudding world, in the pudding universe, that's what seems to happen. You know, and it just shows that these people, you know, they're saying all the right things, but they're not putting their actions behind what they're saying. You have to truly commit to being available to the schedule that you say that you are available for, especially those first couple of weeks or whatever the probationary period is. At Puddin, we have a two week probationary period, which I think is pretty short. Um, we're trying to get people in, train them very quickly and not micromanage them. So we kind of look at those first two weeks, see how you're doing if you're able to commit to a schedule, then we let you go off to the races. But you would be surprised how many people are unable to commit to that schedule. Another expectation I have, guys, is professionalism. Once again, not kind of talking about things that are out of this world. They're all pretty basic, right? So what does this mean? When you come to work, you are ready to work, like I said, and you are ready to be professional. This means you're not bringing your personal life into work. You're not telling me about how your car is about to get possessed and you need an advance on your check or that you know this or that is happening in your world. You have to be professional. Professionalism means that you keep it professional and you keep your personal life separate from your professional life. I am not saying that there's no empathy here. There's obviously empathy. I wanna know about my employees and their personal lives and everything that's going on as well, but there's a way to do it. Don't bring me into your world and make me feel like I have to be responsible for your life. That is crossing the line. So we have high expectations at Puddin', right? I mean, we're asking you to come in on time. We're asking you to be ready to work. We're asking you to commit to a schedule. We're asking you to be professional when you are at work. But guess what? We're also paying you a lot more than a lot of these places are paying. And for a small business, this is huge. So we pay a base amount of $17.50 an hour, but then we give you all the tips. A lot of these bigger companies, they are not giving you your tips or they're taking out a percentage. We don't even take out our credit card processing fees, okay? So I, I bear the brunt of that. People that are working for Puddin are making anywhere for lowest amount is 25 you know 25 all the way up to we had one girl that made 58 dollars an hour one shift people on average are making in the 30s per hour so yes we have expectations i don't think it's unreasonable to have these kinds of expectations because i feel like we're paying for it so yes we have a high bar that we're setting we want people to make sure that they're coming in and they're doing their best but we also are giving our best to our, our employees so guys, you know, we got to talk about like, who am I? 
what is my position and what am I positioned well to do? I got in business because I loved cooking and then once I started my business and I got employees, I really truly loved having a business and keeping that business afloat and keeping it going. Um, I've always been very proud of that, that we've been in business for 10 years. And the reason why I've been in business for 10 years is because I kept my eye on the ball. And the, for me, the ball was, I'm in a for-profit business, we have to turn a profit. So when we talk about all of these expectations that I have from employees, it's because I am constantly focused on that one goal. So for me, as an employer, it's very important that employees meet me halfway come to work professional, come making sure you're on time and you're committed to a schedule and keep the workplace the workplace. The reason why is because once you start bringing in all of these other factors into the workplace, I mean, I can't tell you everything that's happened. It's so many different things have happened um, at Puddin where I started trying to insert myself as a counselor or all these things, trying to help people fix their lives. And what I've realized over the years is that I am not best suited for that. What I am best suited for is if you need a job and you need an employer that's going to be dependable, a reliable, always get that paycheck. As long as you do your part, I'm going to do my part. That's where I can help. But I can't help people that have car repossessions and that are getting kicked out of their houses or that have drug abuse problems because I am not that professional. Like that's not the professional I am. I am not a counselor for, for drug abuse. I'm not a, a housing coordinator. These are not things that I do. What I can do is if you need a job, I can give you a job, you can get paid well. And like, why am I hiring you, right? You have to, if you're in the position of the employee, think about this. I'm hiring you because there's a there's a hierarchy at Puddin, right? I am trying to I'm trying to remove as many hats as I possibly can so I can focus on my job. I'd probably get an hour a day to work on my job half of the time because I'm picking up the slack from other employees who haven't shown up. Thank God for the employees that have been with me that are awesome, that do a great job. Like I can't thank them enough because they really do take the stress off of me and they allow me to continue to do my job. You have to remember, as a business owner, you have to wear so many different hats. But really, when you're hiring new people, you're hiring them because you're trying to remove some of those hats so you can focus on the future. Really, what I should be focusing on all the time is progress and what are we doing, planning for the future. What are, I should know what put, where Puddin's going to be five years from now. The only way I can do that is if I have the right employees that can do the everyday work that I need them to do and do it well and do it with professionalism and show up on time. That's the only way I can ever do my job. As an employee, you need to be taking stress off of me. If you are adding to my stress level, and this is for any business that you work in, if you're adding to your boss's stress level, to the business owner's stress level, then you are clearly not doing something right. You should not be adding to the stress level. You should be relieving some of the stress. And I just wanna say thank you to my employees. You guys know who you are. You ladies know who you are. Gentlemen, people in the past that have worked for me and that have done an awesome job. Like, you know that I am always there for you 100% because everything that you've done for this business and that you've put in, your sweat, all of that has, has made Puddin better. So thank you so much to the employees who have always brought their 100%, their 200% game in every day. We love you. <laughs> hey guys and if you really find this content interesting useful all that good stuff please let us know by liking sharing subscribing and also hit that notifications bell so you know every time a new video comes out we really appreciate all of your questions comments feedback thank you so much